Hey, beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, so let's see. I don't know who we're doing because I lost track. Sister girl. All right, so we already did Leo. Leo, oh my God. Ooh, they're reading this morning. It was no joke. All right, so who are we doing next? All right, so we got Aquarius. All right, so let's see what we got going on. I am going to use the Kipper's deck, man. I'm just telling y'all, <laughs> be warned, Kipperish is Kippering today, okay? Because that Leo reading, my God. Yeah. First few cards that came out, just, all right, tell it like it, tell me how you really feel, all right? All right, so Aquarius, let's see what we got going on for you, my love. Keep in mind that these are general messages. They are not going to resonate with everyone, so please take what fits. Leave the rest. Feel free to check the other sides of your chart. If you like how I get on with my readings, please hit that like button for your girl. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you want to book a reading with me, look in the description box for the link to my website, okay? All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, I know that reading was something else. I'm getting comments already. <laughs> Just wow. All right, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? What's in their energy? All right, Kipperish, what's going on? This deck don't play. I love this deck. I ain't even gonna lie. All right, so check this out. You might get some messages from somebody that's a little bit cuckoo, a little bit mentally unstable here. Somebody could have been born in July of 1976 here. All right, so somebody here, they're, they're going through some, some, somebody might have had a breakdown, a mental breakdown here. Okay, let's quit, quit playing around. Ooh, okay, so check this out. This could be somebody here. Uh, you're getting messages from this person. Why? Because you are single, sexy, and successful. Okay, focusing on self-love, self-care. For some of you, this could be a karmic feminine. All right, doesn't necessarily have to be. You may have blocked this person too. All right, so I'm not going to take reversals in this uh, this reading here with the Kipperish. All right, give me messages. All right, oh, okay, so this could have something to do with your work, your occupation here. Uh, somebody here could work in the uh, medical field here. Okay, so check this out. You could have somebody on the job that's got a problem with you here. All right, somebody here that is um, telling lies, uh, falsifying documents here or whatever. Somebody could be a little jealous because of your success here. I don't know what this is, but this could be a co-worker. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Somebody could definitely work in the medical field. You don't have to be. But whoever this is, this is somebody that wants to cause you some type of emotional pain. Okay, so y'all be careful out here. Uh, it's a lot of weird stuff going on with these energies out here. I don't know. Well, I know what the problem is, but y'all just be careful out here. I'm, I'm just saying, watch your back. I can't make it up. Watch your back jealousy and envy you might be receiving some type of news or something like this or confirmation that this is going on i hate to say it but it might be a bit shocking this is also ooh, this is someone that could have written someone something about you here and you might actually have uh have received this it could be a bad evaluation or something like that i don't know for some of you, you need to be careful because this is a boss here, someone that could be, you know, a supervisor or something like this. However, this person is very childish. They might be trying to trigger you by doing little petty stuff here as well, and it might be annoying them because you're acting non-bothered. It probably really doesn't bother you, the pettiness, you know what I'm saying? You see what it is, all right? You could be a couple of years older than this person, may not, may not be. All right, so let's see here. Somebody could be 34. All right, uh, someone's birthday could be in 76 or 78 here. I don't know what the problem is here. This is crazy. Give me messages, please, and thank you. On jealousy, somebody is giving you a love offer. Wait a minute, hold up. Okay, so this could be, ooh, who is this? Okay. 
look at this. You got somebody here that is really freaking out over you, literally. This person may have tried to, you know, end up in a relationship with you, offer their cup, and maybe you didn't want it because maybe you know that something, something here is wrong with this person and you're not feeling it. Whatever it is, I don't know. For some of you, this could be somebody that you work with. It could be a boss that maybe hit on you. And maybe this person is starting to spread lies and rumors and things like that about you. Or maybe this person may have given you a bad evaluation or a recommendation or something like that. And it's out of jealousy and envy. Okay, you might have decided to start talking to somebody else. Or maybe you're just really just focused on your paper here. You know? People are strange. It's really crazy how certain people, you know, they try to force themselves in your life. And really get pissed off when, you know, it's like, damn, stay over there. No, that's that's your area over there. You're not allowed over here in the VIP section, you know. So, I don't know. Give me messages. Okay, so, you are no, definitely known as a sweetheart here. Uh, you can have a good reputation around your job here as well. Yeah, somebody may feel that you, you know walked away from them or didn't want something to do with them or anything to do with them and now they're causing conflict they have animosity they're pissed and they're obsessed what the hell and especially because you seem to be very happy focusing on your money okay and a positive attitude and positive energy what is wrong with this person oh okay they got people flying around asking questions or getting gathering information like i said it could be the work place here uh, there could be people, yeah, there could be a lot of gossip here as well. Also, like I said, you know, someone is obsessed here, so they're possibly talking about you, possibly gathering information from other people about you. What are you saying? Who are you dating? Blah, blah, blah. This person does have an entity attachment. So there may be something going on with this person's mentally, emotionally here. And, you know, you, you may notice that they they got some some negative ways about themselves they might lash out and things like that i don't know but it looks like you are not bothered and moving on from this person this situation and they don't like it somebody feels rejected by you or you walked away from them you could have started aquarius you could have started talking to this person right <laughs> you know everything is cool you vibe and chilling working with this person you know and over time you know, this person tries to move up on you. Okay, you know, you're interested. Kind of pleasingly aesthetic or there's something about the personality that you might vibe with. Okay, you seem like you're cool. But over time, you might start to notice that this person is jealous. You might start to notice that this person doesn't want to inter want you to interact with anybody else. Or if you do, they might start flipping the hell out or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, You could have conversations with other coworkers here. And this person feels like, you know what, you shouldn't be talking to anybody but me. Why is that person looking at you like that? You know what I mean? What the hell? All right, so you might have realized that this person may be a little, you know, a little possessive and a whole bunch of other stuff. This is just a prelude to what's to come. All right, so you may have decided to like, you know what, let me go on and back that up and kind of move away from this person and kind of pull away my interest not being mean but yeah this is not a safe space for me somebody here is possibly very possessive here and also now that they don't you know they're not progressing in a relationship with you you might be getting messages that this person is actually saying things about you all right to other people on the job and with those flying monkeys you might have some people that are pretty messy you have people like that that, you know, want, want the inside scoop of everybody. They sit back at lunchtime. Did you hear about Aquarius and so-and-so? Oh, my God. Yeah, I heard this and I heard that. And Aquarius told me this. And Aquarius ain't thinking about so-and-so. You know, so you got to be mindful of the people that you're around. But you might get communication about what this person is saying about you, okay? And literally, they're sealing this blockage, this deal with you, okay? Yes, absolutely. This is absolutely over. <laughs> it is what it is. Like I said, somebody here could be born in 1978 or 1976, or this could be the both of you. Somebody's birthday could be in July. doesn't necessarily have to be. All right, give me messages here, please, and thank you. Uh, somebody might be using uh, 
divination to spy. Somebody's awakening to this connection here. And that something, something is wrong with Tink Tink over here. Tink Tink got some problems. They're a little possessive. You know what I'm saying? Ting Ting probably got some problems where you end up on the news if you reject this person or leave them. All right, so in the distant future, it looks like you got some unexpected money here. Keep doing what you're doing. You're showing up as the earth angel. Move in with positive energy and a positive attitude. And if you're coming across people in situations that are trying to bait you into some BS, don't bite, Okay. Let them swim there in, in that pond all by themselves, okay? Obviously, to me, what I'm looking at here, you may have some abundant blessings coming for you. All right, it's always some weird stuff coming when you got a level up coming, right? I'm just saying. And here, you have unexpected income. So, uh, you never know. Your name is already being mentioned in rooms that you are not in here, sweetheart. You might be up for a promotion or something like that. Because one of the things that I do see is that this person is kind of jealous of your feria, okay? Your moolah, dinero. I'm just saying them coins and pentacles, okay? And you'd rather focus on that than them. So, I don't know. <laughs> you see, look, baby, I didn't come to come to work to make relationships or friends. I came to make money. There's that. So, I'm just saying. All right, so give me messages. What are these messages that Aquarius is going to receive? Oh, Lord, look at this. I like it. Damn. Okay, so check this out. Aquarius, you're about to get a raise, baby. Absolutely. Uh, you, you get about to get some pentacles here. It's, it's, it's looking nice. And somebody here is a bit jealous here. Keep it on the hush. This is being done in secret here too, okay? So like I said, your name is being mentioned in rooms that you are not in. What you don't know is that there may be other people competing for this position or want this position. One of the things why someone is jealous is because you possibly beat them out over a position or something like that is being offered to you, sweetheart. Okay? And they don't like it. They're mad. So, but like I said, you know, sometimes it's not about the qualifications. Okay? Sometimes it's really a trip because people... Uh, people get really envious of others. Okay? You can look at or put it like this. Someone can see what you do. Okay, they admire what you do, but they're like, you know what? Mm, I could do it much better. If it was me, I would do this and I would do that. And I could say it better this way. And I would have said it this way. And I would have painted it this way. I would have built it this way. Well, go and build it. And then your people will come. But what they will do is, excuse me, they will try to discredit you demean you and make you feel indifferent about what it is that you're doing sweetheart what it is they don't like your light baby they don't and nine times out of ten you are a real sweetheart here okay you're not going around doing anything to try to hurt anybody cause anybody any pain you're very friendly very open people gravitate towards you you know what i'm saying people like you you're a people person you possibly smile a lot and you're very handsome and very beautiful especially when you smile and it's genuine you're not going behind nobody's back trying to cause them problems pain a demotion loss of job losing their person or whatever making them feel insecure sweetheart you working for the most high and i'm gonna put it to you like this your light irritates demons here sweetheart especially when they can't bask in your sunshine all right somebody like this they see your light they're coming off as oh you know they're your biggest fan your biggest admirer the person that will love you for the rest of your, your life but this person right here will get with you get you in a relationship and then they'll start to isolate you from everybody Okay, your closest friends, your family, and they will key key and cupcake with you like they are the biggest love of your life. And you don't realize that you are being alienated from all of your relationships until the only person that you have on the island with you is this. And then this is when this person is going to show you how they really feel. They are envious of you. They're going to try to belittle you, break you down over time. And make you feel like you are nothing, okay? All to make them feel better. Baby, don't do it.
don't do it. You are a child of the Most High. You deserve to have someone that is going to love you and cherish you, okay? And not have someone here that's got some mental issues. Baby, they need help, okay? They not only need a, a, a psychiatrist, but baby need Jesus. I'm just saying, you need some of the Lord, okay? Sprinkle some of that on it, okay? Just, just a little bit, because a lot of bit. Because somebody got some problems here, okay? They're really obsessing over an ending here. Oh, did you take somebody's position, baby? I don't know. You know in positions, unless they make one for you, okay? You, somebody's got to move out, make room for somebody new. I don't know. But I, like I said, I think there's a few people here that are competing for the same position here. All right? And I think you went out. The good news comes to you. All right? So there's that. Go after what it is that you do. And I'm just saying, don't don't let anybody cause you any type of fear, anxiety, or whatever. Look, let me put it to you like this. If God opened that door for you here, sweetheart, it was for you. You don't have to have the qualifications. That's what I was saying earlier. You know what I mean? You don't have to have that degree, all right? Sometimes you just, the door is open just because of who you are, not your qualifications, Sometimes people put too many emphasis on that degree. <laughs> you understand? On that experience that they have. But you got a jacked up attitude, baby. That's why a lot of doors are closed to people. Because of this. And how they try to get their things. Instead of elevating. <laughs> you understand? Working on that shadow side. If there's jealous, envy, coveting. Whatever it is you got going on. You got to go in there and clean that mess out. All right? Because negativity begets negativity, you'll be passed over for a lot of opportunities, okay? Because of negative energy. Come to the light, Carolyn, all right? You get blessings when you are a beautiful person and you're beautiful to other people. Does not mean that you won't get taken advantage of because you will. People will try it. They'll see that kind heart of yours and they'll come in, oh, I can get this, I can get this, and I can get that. You remember those people that you helped? And they thought they got away with the money that you gave them. They never paid it back. They didn't get away with that. They got karma later. Don't trip. You feel me? You got a blessing for that. Nine times out of ten, when you do good for somebody, your blessings doesn't come back from that person. You understand? You get it where you need it. Okay? From wherever you need it. And sometimes, it's crazy, sometimes your enemies can be your blessings, right? There's that. So keep it pushing here, sweetheart. You got something real good coming here for you. I love it. <laughs> and it don't stop there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look at that. Watch the most high work in your life. Stay in high vibration. Don't match these energies that are trying to come towards you here, sweetheart. They are designed to come in and destroy, seeking whom they shall devour, right? Misery loves company, baby. Don't sit on the couch with them. I'm just saying. Don't indulge because what they're going to try to do is break you down, cause all kind of weight and problems, going behind your back, talking maliciously and all this other kind of stuff. Stand in integrity, sweetheart, okay? Do what you need to do. Know that you are protected by the Most High. Doesn't mean we won't go through some stuff. We're going we're gonna to feel some stuff here, but it's how you respond to it, okay? Look at that. Look at that. You got somebody here that's going to end up apologizing to you, too. Let's see. <laughs> Whoever this is, is going to be in regret. Oh, yes. Why? Because all you do is win, 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 no matter what. And you manifested this. Look at this. You got a lot of stability coming here for you, too. Somebody might be getting a new house. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And you know what else is funny here is because, yeah, you got money coming here. Mm-hmm. Shh, keep it to yourself. Yeah, you got enough. You're going to be saving stuff, too. Absolutely. I love this for you. All right, so check this out. What's funny is because someone here, you may be going for a position or something like that or offered a position and the person that's antagonizing you, they may or may not know. But it's going to come to a surprise to someone because they were possibly giving you hell. And you may end up becoming a leader or a boss or something like that. That person may end up working under you. That's funny. Anywho, moving on. You got someone here that's a little pissed off that you're not taking their offer here. So, I don't know. <laughs> 
Aquarius, this is crazy. What's the Ten of Coins? Oh, Lord. Okay, somebody feels like this was not fair. Somebody feels like you were offered something and it was not fair. There was no equal give and take. See, that's what I'm talking about. I was here longer than this person. I have more credentials. I've been doing this longer. I have this experience. Blah, 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 blah. This person can't do this and I would do it this way. The arrogance. Everybody don't want to work with a know-it-all. <laughs> you know, that's the funny part. You're not everybody's flavor. You might have the experience, but your attitude sucks. You know, you sitting up here down on this person here that got an, an opportunity to advance himself. And instead of you congratulating, you're hating and try to tear this person down, whatever you can do to take them down. You know, and you think you're about to be blessed? Mm, I'm just saying. This person is going to have to step on the necks of others to get what they want. And pretty much what it is, it's all because they're feeling rejected. Not only from a promotion, but you don't want anything to do with this person. You don't want their cup. You know that they cray cray. Okay? So, I don't know. And now that you've gotten this promotion, this advancement, new job, moving on, minding your business, more money, whatever it is here, sweetheart, this person is really going through. All right? So, you got someone here that's got some obsessive behavior and just, you know, just be mindful, you know. It's, it's really some strange folks out here. Yeah, and like I said, this could have actually been somebody that threw you under the bus here too. You could have gotten word that this person has said some things that were not too nice about you, okay? Discrediting you and things like that. You know, possibly running back and forth to your supervisor. It's crazy. I had somebody do that. Somebody that wasn't even in my unit. You know what I mean? Went to our our district director. Hey, Lissette is not doing her work, blah, blah, blah. Because I could sit back at my desk and play on my phone and listen to my music. Mind your own damn business, baby. My work was done three days ago. <laughs> they have nothing else for me to do. Trust me, I asked. I do all my work. And I got called into the office. And <laughs> the director called dude in and called his ass out too. Said, oh, yeah, he... He came in my office and said, you're not doing your work. Dude was like, yeah, I love it. She's a Leo, too. Don't play. Okay? You want to call bullshit? We're going to call it. You want to address the situation? We're going to do it right here. I love her. I love Miss Garza. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. But, yeah, I had to let them know, hey, you want to be nosy? Check and see if my work is done. As a matter of fact, my own goddamn business. How about that? My shit's done. Always done. I come up to her asking her for extra words. So, she, be quiet <laughs> you know so you may have somebody like that all right do your thing cya cover your butt do what you need to do don't worry about nothing but these people are really going to make you look at them from a different perspective here okay because somebody is really trying to throw you under the bus and they've been doing it for a minute trying to cause some imbalance some injustice in your life why jealousy that's crazy. This has been a long time coming for you, baby. But it's here now, and there's nothing they can do about it. Like I said, you know what? Check this out. Sometimes you can walk in the door of a situation, all heads turn. And you can see the questions on everybody's face, and you're wondering, why, why the fuck are y'all staring at me? What the hell? Look away. Avert your eyes. You know, and you may start to feel uncomfortable. You know, like, okay. Why, why do I have all the attention of the room? You know what I mean? The thing is, is that, sweetheart, your aura speaks for itself. Your energy speaks for itself. All right? You attract people to you, the people that love your energy and the people that are repelled and repulsed by it. All right? It is what it is. So you command attention when you walk in a room. A lot of people can see the way that you speak, the way that you move, uh, the way that you're, you know, willing to learn and get in there and do some things. Oh, yeah, I see her moving up. She know her shit. He knows what he's doing. He takes initiative. Matter of fact, he asks questions. Can you, can, can I help you out? Oh, can you learn? Can you teach me how to do this? You understand? My philosophy is, is that don't be the type of person that just wants to learn what your job is. You understand? Learn, be multifaceted. Wherever they send you, you can know how to do this. You can know how to do that. Blah, blah, blah. You can tell somebody how to do it. It may not be your job, but you know how to do it. 
You know, it is what it is. So there's that. I'm going to move on. Mm. Aquarius, it's just funny to me that I see somebody that's really trying to come against you, baby. And I see all kind of blessings coming in here. All right. Your end result is the four of wands. Like I said, don't worry about nothing. Don't entertain the foolishness. Okay. You came to make money, not friends here, sweetheart. I'm just saying it's cool that you got some people that have your back. You know what I'm saying? But people don't need to be all up in your personal business, okay? When they get up in your personal business, that's when they have too much control over you, okay? All right, what's the five of cups? Somebody's definitely going to regret doing this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Somebody's in big regret. Why? Because they should have left you alone. If we work together, we can elevate together. But if you're causing friction in my life or just coming in wanting help and then you're taking small little digs or whatever I do or whoever I am, now I need to back up off of you because you're a low-key hater. And you're trying to use me as a footstool to get to where you want to go. It's not happening, baby. You about to stay on the ground floor where you started and I'm closing that door and leave your ass behind. This person is pissed and regret now. Why? Because not only do they have to continue to work with you, the weapons that they threw against you did not work. And you are celebrating. And guess what? There's more. Wait for it. Okay? Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes, there's absolutely more. All right, so whatever it is that you're doing, Aquarius, hold on, sweetheart, hold on tight, because this ain't your final destination. It's not. What did I just say? It's not your final destination. You only came here for a minute. You didn't come to stay. We're elevating here, okay? It's levels to this ish, and you hitting every last one. The thing is, is that you may be hitting these milestones faster than others. And they're trying to figure out how in the hell did you do that? It's the favor over your life, sweetheart. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Been there, done that. All right. So let's see. Four of Wands. What is this? Ha! King of Cups. Content, happy, doing your thing here. Using your logic, your intuition here to move forward here. But you ain't worried about nothing. As long as the nest and if those that are in the nest are safe and secure, we're not worried about anything. Justice is being served. Hmm. All right. And then on top of that, sweetheart, you came, you did what you came to do. And now it's time to move on. Another offer coming in. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful end of a tumultuous cycle with some people that, you know, you don't need to be around. And for some of you, you have history with this person. All right, with this one particular crazy ass person. So, I don't know, honey. You need to do what's best for you because, yeah, this right here is a little cray cray. Hold on for a minute. Let me get you a spirit message. These readings have been like off the chain, but I'm going to put it to you like this, sweetheart. Whatever it is that you are brewing, growing, uh, cultivating here. Um, studying, whatever it is, keep it up, okay? Because apparently you got something really good coming here for you. All right? And it looks like <laughs> you are you reaching milestones unscathed. You got a lot of people around you that are kind of looking at you like, <laughs> Aquarius got their nerves, don't you? I'm just saying. And it's not throwing shade at nobody either, baby. You're just feeling good about life and doing your thing, okay? Enjoying your life. It is what it is. And then on top of that, especially the people that knew you from your past, if you weren't working in this energy before, oh, they really about to be mad, mad. Be careful of people trying to pull you back to the people that they used to know. You're not that person anymore, okay? You shed those old wine skins and you grew. It is what it is. Be mindful of people that are staying stuck in the past. All right, so it says, recognize the need to create a healthy space between you and someone who is unhealthy. I can't make it up, and that's mentally unhealthy. Somebody got some mental issues here, okay? Give me one more, please, and thank you for Aquarius. A destiny event is coming. If you feel the energy, you are right. Let go and allow spirit to take the lead. This situation is in the hands of the divine. It is. Literally, you can tell how sources maneuvering you around all this BS. You got a job to do. And apparently, you're stepping into your purpose and sources moving you right where you need to be, okay? 
So go on and meander right along with it, okay? And stay in high vibration. Don't entertain this energy, sweetheart. If you see crazy, recognize crazy, believe it is crazy and leave it right where it is, okay? There's that. I love you. Take care. Bye.